All right, here we go, 17 through 20. I'm kind of getting bored of normal videos, so I'm going to practice my, uh, my hick voice. Well, again, you know we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to recognize right off the bat. No, I'm not gonna do that. It's stupid. I'm just gonna keep going. It's a multiplication problem. That's the biggest thing to recognize. When you multiply, and I'll say this multiple times, <laughs> multiple. You're going to have to keep numbers with numbers and multiply radicals with radicals. So right now, this problem is dealing radicals with radicals. So just multiply. Forty times five is two hundred. And a to the sixth times a squared gives you a to the eighth. So in multiplication problems, you multiply, just go, just multiply it, and then worry about breaking it down at the end. Uh, square root of 200, I look for a big square root that goes into both. 100, like that 100, yeah, emoji, yeah, I'm cool, never mind. Square root of 2, and so the square root of 100 is 10. 2, and then over here you got variables a, 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 four pairs. So a to the fourth goes on the outside. 18. Multiplication, just multiply. Radical times radical equals radical. 10 times 8 is 80. y to the sixth. Pause it, see if you can break this down and get the same answer as me. The biggest perfect square you can get is 16. 16 times 5 gives you 80. Uh, so 4, square root of 5. But you got to remember, I got 6 y's over here. So that means 3 pairs. Pairs go on the outside. Moving on. Now here we got something, um, again, remember numbers with numbers. This is still a multiplication problem. So negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Numbers with numbers, radicals with radicals. So the radicals is going to be 50, x to the fifth. Now, um, I'll just break it down as normal. I got, uh, see, there is a perfect square that goes into 50. It's 25 times 2, and then x, 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 x. We'll do the pairs here in a sec. Um, the square root of 25 is 2. Wow, I mean 5. The square root of 25 is 5, and then I still have square root of 2. Don't forget, though, I still have a negative 12. They're right next to each other, so that means multiply. That gives me negative 60. And then square root of 2. I got two. Pairs that go on the outside. One left over. Keep it on the inside. Done with 19. 20. Same kind of deal. Want to multiply numbers with numbers. You get negative 10. Radicals with radicals. That gives me 18y to the third. Break down at the very end. Square root of 9, square root of 2. That's just 3. Just 3. But you still have negative 10 with it. So you really have negative 30. Uh, square root of 2. For the y's, you got y, 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 one pair, and then one left over. There you go.